Hello guys, MamGFX here and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to create a simple yet stunning form signature. Okay? Now to get your document just click File, New. And mine is 400 by 150. You can change that however you like, but I'm okay with it so I'm going to click OK. Now create a new layer for you to place your render on. My render is Kirby because he's awesome. Just place your render in the middle and resize him to your liking. Like that. Then click enter. Now oh, that's great. Now right click the layer and click rasterize because otherwise you won't you can't use the layer, okay? Just gonna delete that. Lovely. Now take your brush tool and take a hard brush, 80 pixels, and take a color, not too dark, not too bright, from your render that is perfect okay and drag a line across your canvas oh that's sorry that's wrong on the layer below okay like that lovely take a darker color and draw a line below that line take another darker color and draw a line below that line you see like a rainbow okay now take a bright color from your render draw a line high up and take another color. I'm gonna choose blue just for fun. And draw just the top. Okay, that looks really ugly. But we're gonna change that with our smudge with our smudge tool. And I'm gonna use this brush I made. Uh, I'll put the download link in the description. Uh, but then just smudge the whole picture like this. Lovely. Okay. Now your background is done. Okay, so you can lock that if you want to. Now go to your Kirby render and you need to make copies now. So hold down control and click the J button. So you make copy and click one more time and one more time. So we got four Kirby's, okay? Now hide the bottom one and take the third one from the top and change it to linear dodge, okay? Lower the opacity to s around 75%, 80 maybe, and smudge it, okay? like this. Smudge, 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 smudge. Awesome. And take the layer above and change that one to color dodge. Drag down the opacity to around 70, 75, 80% that one also. And smudge that one too. And now take your top layer and pull down the opacity of your smudge brush to around maybe 40, 50 just smudge the edges away. Undo that. Like that. Okay. And take your blur tool. Mine is pretty small. 34 pixels, 0% hardness, and strength 50. Just blur the lower part of your character. Like that. So it gets some depth. Okay. Now, to create some lining, create a new layer. Take your brush. Make it really big, like 350 or something and lower the hardness to zero and take black color and just draw along the edge just like this you see okay let's undo that like that see awesome and then you take white and click one time up here see way better okay now uh, I'm gonna add a fractal it's like a, a cinematic 4D but way prettier. <laughs> okay, my fractals are here. Click that and go down to the one you want. Pull it out. Resize it like that. And rasterize the layer. Now you want to change this one. Also you want to change Cinematic 4D renders to lighten because then all the blacks will go away. Get it? So I'm gonna move this in place like that. I'm just gonna delete um, everything that's on my character that I don't want. Okay, that's a hard brush. I don't want that. Hardness zero, okay? Like that. Awesome. Now, create a new layer. And now you click Image. Apply Image. Click OK. And as you see, you have the whole image down here. Okay? 
and now you click image adjustments and you click gradient map and you want to click the purple to orange you see how it gets down there and click OK OK and change this one to soft light lovely OK lower the opacity to around 87 percent and uh, yeah that's about it Wait. now create a new layer image adjustments and then you no image and apply image click OK again then take image adjustments photo filler you do not want to take the warming filler just take the cooling filler 80 okay like that great and create another layer image apply image okay and then image adjustments and gradient map uh, now you can take the black white one and click reverse so it gets like this click OK and then change it to soft light and lower the opacity or you could change it to normal and lower the opacity from there I'm gonna have it like that around 24 percent okay now you're almost done you just wanna uh, I'm just gonna do like this I'm gonna take the sharpen tool make it a tiny bit bigger and I'm just gonna sharpen around here around the focal okay and then I'm gonna take the blur tool and I'm gonna blur everything else <laughs> that's me okay now uh, just one last thing uh, take your paint bucket change to black and yeah you have to create a new layer get it and then you drag down the fill 0% Clef click the FX down here and click stroke now you take the position to inside okay and uh, you might want to change the opacity a bit I don't know do whatever you want I'm going to take it to 74 and uh, that's it choose it to whatever you like but I'm going to click that and now click control T for free transform and hold down the shift and the alt key and drag to the sides that's awesome. Now, last thing, we need some text, okay? Click the text tool. I want mine to be white. And take a font that you like. I'm going to I'm going to go with champagne and limousines. And just write whatever you want. I'm going to write dream because I think this is kind of dreamy. Uh resize it if you want to, which I'm going to do. And there's your signature. This is very simple and you could do a lot to make it better but this was a quick one and I ju just want to show you the basics, okay? And lastly I just want to thank two people. Uh, the first one I want to thank is Jonas, my friend, for letting me borrowing his computer because mine's broken. And I'll put his link, his YouTube link, in the sidebar. Go check him out, he's a good drummer. And I want to thank my friend the Crazy Ernie. Uh, friend of mine on Triforce Gaming and also he also uses Adobe After Effects so go check him out too I'll put his link in the sidebar too okay practice your Photoshop skills and I'll see you next week peace